Mm -hmm. So I'm sure Book is watching and taking down notes between these two combatants here because one of them will be making to grand finals. And the journey was tough for both these players. They went through, I would say, the, the bloodbath of Pool B. We're going to settle the first match in Violet Systems. It's going to be a Nina versus Akuma. Quite the big rectangular stage. Let's see if we'll get any wall carries going on. All right, here we go. We're definitely going to get some wall carries. I'm telling you right now. If there's Nina, somebody's going to the wall, bro. Akuma, maybe not so much. Nina, oh, you're going to <laughs> this Nina, wall, bro. Yeah. On Juicy Storm side, yeah, hell yeah. So let's see. Spacing it out early on, not forcing the action just yet, but you see that Shinakuma is just sending out some fireballs. Uh oh. Nice block uh -oh. on the slide in. Okay, focus, gonna get the wall. Ooh. Ah, no. Right now, Shinakuma really does. Wow, tearing the ankles mm -hmm. up. Yo, just repeat offender, yeah. do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ripping on that. Like, yeah, I'm forcing you to block low. Let's see what's going to happen. Tries to jump in on him. They switch sides. Jewy Storm closing out the distance, but gets caught there. Hits him on the way up. Uh oh, Ooh, throwing hands. Ground and pound. Ground and pound. Cool. Oh, wow. And getting this high wall splat using the meter. You don't see too many Akumas do that. I'm, one, I'm wondering why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it reaped it, re it re so much reward for Shinakuma. And now, Jewy Storm in a world of hurt here. Spends the drive. Tried to slide in. Oh, my God. It's wow, a bad what a habit. Dunk. Down one, two. Down three, interrupted. Breaks the one plus two throw. And the down three again, man. I'm telling you. That's the finishing move of Shinakuma, right? going for the checking the legs, going to that down three just to close it out. Because if you build such a sizable lead, gets a big counter hit here. Shinakuma putting him in the wall. Mm. Power crush. Oh. Wow. And that should do it. Shin Akuma three rounds straight in this first game versus Jewy Storm. Ridiculous. Yeah, it was like eight at all. all. That focus. Yeah, let me. Yeah, just eat it all. Like, give it all to me. I'm able to get the aneurysm punch. Able to <laughs> uh, reap the rewards of it. Dang. Oh, man, Shinakuma is scary. He is scary. I think. I think Book also might be a little scared because Shinakuma is going through that ringer. You uh, just going through the entire uh, roster of killers. Like, but I, I found a. Yeah, put it. Sorry, wrestling analogy. He's like the number one entrant versus. Book is like at the 30th. He's like, he's just chilling there. All right, I'm gonna come in, but you're all warmed up. <laughs> you know, like talking about it like this, you talked about how interesting this format is. I actually really do like this format because, like, it really puts mm -hmm. the regions themselves on display. Like, yes. if you mm -hmm. look at the fact that these players are actually holding down their region on a sense of like, they're gatekeeping their own region. I think you said something about this. Right? They're <laughs> gatekeeping their own region. So, like, they deserve to be in these spots. And I'm going to tell you that, like, Super Akuma was definitely one of my favorites. Like, one of my favorites to make mm -hmm. it out from the group. But has had such a hard time. Here fighting his way in, like, the finals. I'm still, like, not sure. But Shin Akuma is looking like how I felt like Shin Akuma should have been playing all day. Should, yeah. Exactly. Right. He had a long journey, a rough long journey. Uh, no wins were given to him. He all had to scratch his way to get those victories. But now it seems like uh, this is the Shinakuma of old, if I would say, the vintage Shinakuma of how we how dominant he is. Now, Jewy Storm trying to go back to the stage comfort pick here, going to the Forgotten Realm. Let's see if he can get some matches in or some rounds in in this stage. Jewy Storm, Shinakuma, game number two. Shinokuma made that first game look crazy, crazy easy. Three rounds straight. Fight. Mm -hmm. Quite the dominant display on Shinokuma's side. Let's see? All stand up so far, but Shinokuma has been landing. I like the delay this time around, because you can see, you can see Chewy Storm, Chewy Storm actually delaying to try to like catch some recovery on stuff. And now you see Shinokuma just switching the fireballs and say, you know what? If you're going to do it, then I'm just going to reset it all together. Nice follow up here. Mm -hmm. oh, we'll wipe the floor. Wipe the floor. Four, four, three again. Let's go. 
Shinokuma in a wall Decent. situation here. Jewy Storm. Yeah, giving him a little bit of space now to just get out of it. Now we see yeah, Fireball. We'll have to meet him there. Shinokuma now does have Rage. Final second, Steve. This is not good. Ooh. 10 seconds. Ooh. Oh, that's Dunzo. That's Dunzo. Yeah. Ending no drop. That's, that's Dunzo. Dunzo. Round two. Wow, Shinokuma, just once he was able to build that meter, spends it right away to secure that first round. Just put uh, more pressure on Juicy Storm's side. Going for the low, staggering the pressure a little bit. I like this. Off axis fireball, gets the tackle. Oh. Man, that down four. Wow, just commits to a hop kick. And finish the string, gets the floor break and the wall. Big damage here. Wow. Oh my god. What and a no sequence break. from Juicy Storm. Yeah. No blonde bomb wake oh. up there, but uh oh. Oh no, drop yeah. the combo. Joe, Joey Storm, this is not what you want. Ouch. Don't hit him with the demon. Oh, oh. no. Oh, he woke the demon, Steve. Oh my god. Is that's going to be it? Wow, just like that. He had such a good scramble there, such a good Round sequence. Three. What a good salvo from Joey Storm, but Shinokuma's like, no, dude. This is Akuma you're Four facing. Four threes. One slip Lots up. of pokes. And once again, the second game is looking like three rounds straight. I may be speaking a little bit early here, but Shanaku, mm -hmm. nice block. Tsunami the jump. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. That if we pending no drop, that's game number two in losers finals. And it's going to uh. Shin Akuma. Oh my gosh, bro. This is exactly what I was talking about. Like yeah. In this situation where you're fighting somebody like Super Akuma, oh, Super Akuma, Shan Akuma, who literally, <laughs> uh -huh. he's forcing you to play this down three game, this really simple game, but the minute meter is there, like, you kind of get dicey, makes you second guess your entry, and Shan Akuma mm -hmm. literally just plays so comfortable in that range. And, and talking and about that, that well, that, mm -hmm, go for it. No, I was just saying, like, the fact that, you know, not we're not seeing like a bunch of cash out with full meter. We're getting like small instances where it looks small, like Small, yeah. It's very small, right? Like a lot of back and forth. And then like even with Nina getting these big hits, just not being able to, you know, lock down Akuma, not being able to completely erase down three from it, like mm -hmm. That's a problem. That's definitely a problem uh, with how he's going to approach that matchup. And uh, I just wanted to highlight that second round, right? Uh, Juicy Storm finally getting wall to wall, like uh, consecutive floor breaks and stuff. But, you know, at just the snap of his finger, Akuma was able to just deplete the life of Nina with a meter. And, and mind you, he already uh, had the wall situation, but the fact that he was able to burn that meter. And I like what you pointed out there. It's not like he's saving it all up and cashing at one big go. It's these yeah. small sequences that slowly add up. He's like, adding water in the basement until you don't know that it's already flooded. It's like, wow, okay. No, that's fine. Yeah, just cash in that meter once here and there. But I think it just creeps up on you and just uh, till you're just swarmed with the offense that Shinokuma has. So now Juicy Storm is going to have to adjust and adjust accordingly because this is his last salvo. This is his last hurrah to try to stay alive in this tournament. Still sticking to the Forgotten Realm, still sticking with his main, Neo Williams. Okay. Dewey Storm still with the chance, still with the chance. All, I, I'll be at the last chance, still a chance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Round one. That's all you need, that hope. Let's see if you can still stay alive here. Shinokuma, real tall order here, but let's see if Dewey Storm can rise to the occasion. Okay. I like Dewey Storm. Playing a little slower. Mm -hmm. Big exchange here, but we've seen like these rounds play out like this before. And Shinokuma just runs it back. Keep the lead, no, keep here, a confident is... lead. Yeah, and this is where he starts to build that momentum, just spacing him out. Juicy Storm, whenever he comes in, yeah, he's gonna have to wait, like bop and weave those fireballs away. Now switch sides, and this is where Shinokuma wants him. Nice block on the low to the binding mm. whip from Juicy Storm. Floor break. Not dead yet, but close enough. Oh my god, okay. I was wrong. Why did why did they bounce off the wall twice? <laughs> the sidewall clipped him, and luckily there was a wall for Juicy Storm to capitalize on. He'll take it. He'll take any victory he can over Shinokuma at, the, at this point. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> okay. Big geyser cannon from mm -hmm. Juicy Storm. Mm -hmm. 
wow, big damage here. And just Dragon Punch. Like, uh oh, things are getting crazy. Dragon Punch, low parry. Time to Dragon Punch. What did I say, dude? <laughs> Every time this dude, Shin Akuma, seems like he's out of it. Just gets like a series back in there. Okay, all right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Two here rounds. Here we go, Juice Storm. Yep. Got two rounds in the hole for Jewy Storm. Shinakuma does have some meter to spend. It starts it off with a down four. Get that respect from Jewy Storm. Wait a minute. We got an ivory reverse ivory cutter for the launch for Jewy Storm. Lots of blocks done. Whoa. Wipe the floor. You went at it again. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. All right, Shinakuma. Tries to go for the run and slide, not gonna work out. This time saves the meter. The meter already. Yep. Has one more to utilize, has rage as well. Final seconds, Jewy Storm. Can lame it out, Ooh, can back away. No, decides the blonde, the blonde bomb. bomb. Checks him there. Let's go. And you Jewy saw what Storm happened there? Stays alive. Mm -hmm. Completely different pace of match right there. Was it nearly as many hits for Shin Akuma? And the in and out game from Nina really did pay off. It wasn't too many big gambles. It was just the slow, steady pace of the game. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, as you mentioned, like, he started checking more of those lows. Black the big back four was ready with that binding whip of Nina and just uh, punished accordingly. And we really did see Jewy Storm shine in this stage with how he was able to break the two floors and still keep him in control, but at a distance. And he didn't mind just bopping and weaving the fireballs, but yeah, he, he kept checking him with those lows. Yeah, you have to, and, and just being smart enough to play back, it's really easy to get caught up in that, like that scrambly fireball, down three, back one game of Akuma. Mm -hmm. Being able to see through that is so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's one of the keys to victory that Jewy Storm had in that previous round. You know what? Not out of the woods yet is our, is our boy Jewy Storm here. He still has to get two more for him to solidify himself in the grand finals. And Shinakuma just needs one more set. He put so much in the hole with, uh, with so much momentum in, in the bag for him when he came into this matchup. Two matches, uh, two to one for now. Uh, so he does have stage pick of choice. Still, I, I don't think he's going to switch from Akuma. He's going to have to stick with this Akuma because it's been working. Yeah. Out. He's just going to have to just change things up here and there. Yeah, I don't think that we're going to see uh, an Akuma switch. I'm almost certain we're not going to see an Akuma switch, right? But uh, mm -hmm. still... I just think that like Dewey Storm is really gonna have to like keep this pace, keep exactly like this, make Akuma play out of his comfort zone, and then that way you can close out this set. Mm -hmm. Keep at it, Dewey Storm. Yeah. Jungle Outpost is where we're going. Let's see if Dewey Storm can keep this pace, keep just dictating how um, uh, Shinakuma will be approaching this match. Um, again, Shinakuma loves that chaos. He loves that um, when he has that meter and loves the dominant pace that he brings to the table. So, we're going to jungle outpost. Let's see if we can see any uh, balcony breaks. Wow, going more to the jumps. Shinakuma. Yo, and the tackles on top of it. Oh, wow, the Ooh. focus not going to work. Stand duck this time. Get up three. Can break the balcony. Oh, go for the ground. He's been going more for real instead. estate. Yeah. In those instances, right? I think he's saving the balcony break, but now we see that Shinakuma uh, losing the life lead here, but trying to fight accordingly here at the center of this stage. Ooh, mm -hmm. gets the jump in. And now the balcony break is inbound for him, but he chooses not to use it. One more hit and goes for the mid. Shinakuma on the board with the first round. The four threes, man. The four threes from Akuma, the down back fours, and just working in that down three. Like, a couple of tools has really gotten to the point where, like, Nina's second-guessing her entry to do damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, my grounded God. So much hand. damage. I've never seen Akuma ground and pound this many people. Wait a minute. Gets the wall combo. Mm, wow. Double blonde bomb. Still got the wall break. Down back two for the, oh. for the tailspin. Afterwards, oh my god. Huge damage, but then, oh my god. EXDP gonna get punished. Jewy Storm ties it up. One round each. Fight. Backing away. Hey. Jewy Storm sizing him up. A 
little bit, playing back a little bit more with the Nina. Oh, uh -oh. wow, if that would have, if, if, if legit, if Shanakuma would have uh -huh. that rip, it would have worked. Shut up, slap. Oh, down for 1-1 uh -huh. in the hurricane. Catapult kick on wake up, and now Juicy Storm. Uh-oh. Break. Switch his side. Shinakuma. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Shinakuma trying to put a, put the nail in it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nail in the coffin. Oh, my God. Low pair. He's going to convert and find the wall as well. Hmm. Breaks a throw and instantly retaliates with a 4-3. Shinokuma trying to get to grand finals. Finally brings back the demon flip throw. Tries to finish the string. Shinokuma knows what a sidestep. What a whip on his. Oh my god. Oh my god. Juicy Storm has rage to work with. Can he run this back? Shinokuma oh did he one? They trade. My oh my god. god. Wait. They get to the final round. The health. Oh my god. We are final round. Steve. Herotic oh god. Hair. I'm just losing my mind. Yeah, Herotic hair for sure. Land back more. Walks clean around the yeah. fireball. Mm -hmm. Playing very conservatively in this last round. 22nd already burnt, and none of them has committed to anything big just yet. Just sticking to blocking these fireballs. Now Shinokuma is the one that's jumping in. Trying to get something. Gets the combo in the Tatsu. Jump in again, oh, oh. finds his mark. Yo, Shinokuma. But look how long this round has played out. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dewey Storm, uh -oh. watch out. One more would do it. Oh, they trade. But in Shin Akuma's favor, Shin Akuma, ladies and gentlemen, is moving on to grand finals. It's going to be Book versus Shin Akuma. But can we just pay our respects and also show some love to Dewey Storm? His Nina was insane. Bro, I'm going to make some noise in the chat right now, man. Dewey go Storm, I see. <laughs> I see. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so big shout outs to Juicy Storm. Here, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the, 100%. This... I think some people in the chat were so also sharing, like from the Thai community, like he's one of the best to ever do it. So I'm glad that he had this breakout performance.